AMC has put out more than its fair share of hit television shows in the past several years, but the undisputed cornerstone of the network remains The Walking Dead. Debuting on October 31, 2010, the program offered a dramatic new spin on the zombie genre by putting the focus on the human survivors and their lives with one another and using the reanimated masses, which aren't even called zombies in the show, as a backdrop. This approach made the series a pop culture phenomenon in no time and propelled it for over a decade. While The Walking Dead is immensely popular, it isn't exactly a show that's accessible to everyone. The collapse of modern society and the rise of flesh-hungry corpses known as walkers are enough to turn off viewers who are sensitive to such content. Factor in the excessive blood, gore, and general violence that constantly follow the characters, elaborate special effects that make death scenes look far too real, and the series' use of well-timed jump scares, and you've got a recipe for a show that is just too much for some people. For the majority of Walking Dead viewers, this content comes with a territory, and there are no complaints to be had. However, there are a few odd scenes that unsettled even the most committed fans, and many have confessed that a few Walking Dead moments went way too far. We here at Looper were curious about the Walking Dead fandom's picks for its most stomach-churning scenes. We polled viewers, and according to our results, almost 28% of respondents agreed that Negan Smith brutally killing Glenn Ree and Abraham Ford was the hardest moment to handle. For those who don't recall, in the season 7 premiere, ominously and aptly entitled The Day Will Come When You Won't Be, Negan taunts Rick Grimes and his group of fellow survivors, who he has ordered to kneel on the ground and declare their loyalty to him. He chooses Abraham to make an example of, using his barbed wire covered bat Lucille to bludgeon him in the head. When Daryl Dixon attempts to take a stand and attack Negan, the bat-wielding maniac has a simple response. That? Oh my! That is a no-no! Then, of course, things go from bad to worse. Negan decides that the group needs to be further punished, and he selects Glenn as his next victim. He kills him without mercy, in the same way that he did to Abraham. The brutal deaths of Glenn and Abraham have been remembered in infamy, and even one of the Walking Dead stars involved in the scene thought it went too far. During an appearance on the Talk Dead to Me podcast, Abraham actor Michael Cutlitz revealed his true feelings. I always think it was a bridge too far, personally. I thought it was too much. Either one of us should have lived a little bit longer, because people were very affected by it. Cutlets added that he knows more gruesome deaths happened in The Walking Dead, but Glenn and Abrahams struck viewers because they truly cared about the characters. There were a lot of other killings and murders and lives lost on the show that were a lot more brutal, but the fact that I think you loved Abraham and Glenn so much as an audience, that's what makes it more brutal. Unsurprisingly, for a show as gory as The Walking Dead, Negan's bloody executions weren't totally unopposed in our poll about which scenes went too far. The season 3 episode Killer Within also ranks high. It deals with the death of Rick's wife, Lori, who had to undergo an emergency C-section, courtesy of Maggie Green, to save her baby. That gut-wrenching scene culminates with Lori and Rick's son Carl killing his mom before she returns as a walker. From there, the picks don't get any less heartbreaking. The runners-up include Rick killing Sophie in her walker form in front of her mom, along with Carol shooting the severely disturbed Lizzie. And finally, Noah's demise at the hands of a zombie horde rounds out the list. With more than 150 episodes to look back on, this is surely just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the show testing the limits of cable television guidelines. Now that its historic run will wrap up in 2022, one has to wonder if The Walking Dead will try to push the envelope one more time or have mercy on its fans and give us a hopeful ending. Either way, it's going to be tough to say goodbye to the show and all its surviving characters. It's an emotional moment. I get it. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.